So, I'm here today for another segment of the possibilities that are greater than we know that we possess. So, I want to just start by saying all glory to the Most High and positive vibes, affirmations, music, vibrations, things of that such nature. So, I want to start, I want to start by talking about helping, helping in every way. Helping others, animals, people in need, people that don't need help, helping our enemies, and helping in just any way, mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. So... I want to start by saying one thing that I have to do in life to feel good is help others. And it's not that I have to help others to feel good about myself or to, it's more so that I have to help others in life because that's what we're put here for. We're put here to help others get through life and make their life more manageable for them to keep going and keep pushing forward. Sometimes I overextend myself and I help others and I put myself on the back burner and you know how that goes. <laughs> if I don't help others and I focus only on myself, I feel bad. And if I help others and I don't look out for myself, I get a little frustrated and might say, say things like um, out of pressure and frustration but I'm still thankful that I'm able to help them because that's what makes me feel good. Whenever I help just me or did things only for me, I felt bad all the way throughout it. Even though I was getting things done, I felt bad about just, it, it's like I was just felt bad. So the, um, these are a few things that I, I like to stand on as an individual. I have a lot of things that I stand on but these are a few things that I stand on that keeps me going. One thing is the old and the elderly. I have to help them. Help them get in the door that they're trying to go through if it's not a, a, a self-opening door where you just walk up and walk right in. Um, from if um, they need help crossing the street, um, help changing the tire if they have a blowout and no one's around to help them that such and stuff like and I I have to respect the women of the in this world I have to respect the women the women in this world they need help because they can do things that man do but it takes a little more mental and physical energy for them to do it than it would take us not saying that they're not capable of what we do but it's more so that we're we can do it for them and we should do it for them and they should be able to rest more often because you know women deal with a lot of things um such as i mean kids and raising them by themselves um a lot of things women deal with um emotional spiritual physical mental mental battles and things and stuff like that so i, I feel that we should respect the women regardless of how they act towards us and what else oh yes and i feel that we should guide the youth the youth needs guidance from all these outside things and people and energies and stuff because if a kid is just raised to do and anything that he wants it's possible he can go down the wrong path through the music TV, peer pressure from others. I feel that everything that that we do on this planet should consist of all the senses pulling in positive vibrations, positive affirmations, positive energy. Um, I feel that we should read and look at good things with our eyes. I feel that we should listen to good things through our ears. I feel that we should put good things in our mouth and in our, in, in our temple for us to live longer and, and live a healthy life. 
And um, I just feel like every sense should be pleased by something that is good, not just something that is okay and okay for the society that we live in. And yeah, that's how I feel. I feel the elderly needs help. Women have to be respected. And the youth need guidance. And with, and with those morals that I stand on and those three things, I feel that those three things shows the peers that I'm around that we have to do better. It's not that I'm teaching them anything or anything. It's more so that we have to be an example because there are many examples in the Bible, many examples in the world, and many examples um, all over just to let you know how things could go if you go this way and how things could go if you go that way. And we have to be an example no matter what. And if that, if that means taking away some desires that we feel is beneficial when they're not really beneficial, they're just keeping us stagnant and in the same spot, the only way to let new things in is to let go of old ways that are not beneficial and not good for the mental, spiritual, emotional, and physical health. Well, I just feel that I had to get that off my chest. And I want to say you all have a blessed and productive day. God is with you. Pray. Meditate. Read. Apply. And repeat. Repentance. Good affirmations. Pleasing the senses in a good way. Are all things to get you along the day for a better way in life for you and the others around you. All right. Peace.